Hello everybody and welcome back to Back to Here 1. Thank you to all to my subscribers um, and all all four subscribers and everyone and all 21 uh, people who's liked my videos and also everyone who's viewing. Thank you so much for the support. It really does mean a lot to me. And if you have any comments for an upcoming Q&A, please leave them in the in um not the description in the comment section down below but i'm going to today i'm going to be talking about things i really really hate so i'm just saying a warning out there i don't normally swear but if i do swear in this video um sorry uh, there will this is a warning so if you don't like swearing or you're not allowed swearing since the parents in the room please turn this off this video off now and if you when the parents out of the room, you can turn it back on, but I don't, in all my videos, I make sure I don't swear, but this one, because it's about things I hate and really winds me up, this really gets on my nerves, so it could be a thing, you know, that I do get annoyed about, but now we're going to be talking, now the things that really wind me up is cheat, as a sportsman, I don't like cheating, and I don't like cheaters, and I really don't like cheaters who cheat, obvious, so right up at uh, my youth club up the road, um, at which is from 7.30 to 9.30 on Fridays. It's a good youth club, got nice and good friends, but none of them are really sports people. Like, there's one boy, Alex, who, and a few other who are decent at football, but they're not really sports people. And it really winds me up how everyone turns to cheek, cheat football. No one really, no one cheats anymore since all the um, boys who muck about have gone since peer pressure. One, uh, two got, three got, ba two got banned, one volunteered to go, go that week, and then all of them went next week. But there's one game that is the worst for cheating, and it is four square. If you look at this diagram here, you have square four, square one, square two, and square three. So, how you play this, this is how you should play the game. It's four, the four, the person, everyone has to let it bounce before they hit it. So number four, bounces it, hits it, so it bounces. Then this person could hit it in any, and from that, the only you don't have to, you could hit it to any box except for the serve. The serve has to be to one, and the aim of the game is to stay in here for the longest amount of times possible. So every time the ball goes out of play, or someone's out, that's one there. So you have to try and get there and stay there, and. If it hits the line, if you hit the line, you're out. If it bounces twice, the person in that box is out. If you volley it, you're out. And if you hit it, if, it, if you say you're in box three, you got to hit it to box one, but you hit it over, you're out. But if it, if it, if you hit it and the person gets in the way, so even if they're not trying to go for it, if you hit it too high and it hits them, they're out. But if you step outside, the, you're allowed to step outside the box. And if you step outside the box and the ball hits you, you're not out. But people at youth club, they say, if I bring this closer, they say any, they, people could call line, people call line whenever it's like in this area, like whenever it's like a foot. If you could put your foot, like for example, say this is my foot, anywhere now, by here, along this, like this, anything, a, a foot in there, they will call line even when it's not, and sometimes you can go out because the rest are not properly viewed, and I really don't like that, and you're also, if, if people queue up by box one here, so, these people, if they get too close, it's called obstruction, you're not allowed obstruction, but, people still get it wrong, where, if I step out, sometimes I've stepped outside when I'm in box four, mainly, or sometimes box three, I step out, the ball hits me, and I, at the first time, it hit this person called Gally, who was the leader at the time, uh, well, he, the, the winner, uh, he was winning with 12 times in box four, hit him, I got there, I had, I had, I managed to get 14, I stepped out, hit me, yet I was out, and it's happened again recently, and I really don't like it, and since that's the rule, if you're out here and you hit it, you're not out. But it's happened twice. I've been out and twice, Gally or Ollie or a few other people. It's twice it's happened where people have stayed in, and I really don't like that. And two, yeah, 
the, the, the thing that really annoyed me, I was, uh, the record is now 73 uh, um, up at Youth Club, and I was on 71, uh, and I hit it by here, right? Right by this area. And they said it was line, right? Maybe it's better if I do this, because then you can see how much. I hit it right here. See this quite a bit? They called it line. I was out, so I got annoyed, and I really don't like it. And if anyone cheats at this up at Youth Club again, if you're watching this, I'm going to take off. I'm, if it's in the hall, I'm going to take off all the tape. If it's outside, I'm going to rub off it. But first, I'm going to go hide the ball or lose the ball. And that includes a football, and I love football. And I really, so I really don't like cheats. You can see how much I don't like cheats. Now, let's get onto things about certain people. Well, one, Talitha, well, she's kind of, you know, mental um, and, you know, lun uh, lunatic in a way. Yeah, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, but, but yes, yeah, the word she's a psycho. And she doesn't really like, well, she's asked me to say this about she's a psycho. But, you know, there's some aspect, you know, I like it. I like it. There's, there's aspects of everyone I like. But she really likes, I don't think she actually is like this, but she just really, she tries too hard to tell people. And that it almost makes me think, well, maybe she's trying too hard because she wants to be seen that way, but she's not. That she doesn't like people and she only likes anime. Well, yeah, she only does like anime. But she pretends to be kind of gothic in a way. She pretends not to like people. And it's not like her. Well, it is. She, But she does it too much and it annoys me. Why are you trying to make people think... Why are you trying to be something you're not? Okay, you may not like the majority of people, but you still like people. But she tries and gets it in every mind. She doesn't like any. She doesn't like any. Then why are they friends with her? Why does she have friends then? It really baffles me at times. And then there's um, Ben, who's one of my best friends. Sorry, Ben. But you, you're too passive. I mean, it's good to be, you know, nice, sweet, but you're too passive. Ugh. And it just annoys me, or you're too obsessed with anime and Pokemon. You're too obsessed with one thing at a time. Like, and you don't, like, I talk about, you know, I could sit down and talk about anime with Talitha or something about Talitha I don't like, or anyone, even if I don't like it, I'll still talk about it because they're interested in it. And sometimes when we have cross um, things, I like it. Like, if we have, like, I, if I like something and they like something, we really, I will have a talk. But sometimes talking about it so much makes me not like it. Like, me and Ben both like Pokemon, and we both went off it because of it. But he, he, you just get too obsessed with one thing, and I don't like that. It really, really bugs me. It's like, they're just, like, two-dimensional instead. Like, they're not 3D, or they, they just seem to be two-dimensional, like, only one thing to them. And it gets really, really annoying. Then there's few aspects of other people. Um, there's a boy. There's another boy who's even more passive. Um, that's Isabel's brother. Then there is Esther. By yes, okay. I went out with her um, about a year ago. She's my ex now, and I, you know, I loved her to bits. But then I found out that trying to show her how much I loved her, I ended up being too clingy too nice, so she dumped me, and also something my sister did, but too clingy, so she dumped me, but then we, she just keeps arguing about it, like I'm stuck on it, yes, it, it, it was hard enough as it is to get over her, and to find someone else, but, you know, I, I can't stop feeling what I feel for her, so, uh, but she keeps arguing me about things, just because no one else will argue, and it gets really really annoying and I still you know she's special to me you know there's n like I mean I've liked a few people I've gone out with quite a few but you know no there's there was something special with her and I blew it yes I know and I'm sorry I blew it Einstein I'm sorry I started acting differently it's just because I've never kept someone for so long because they always think I'm weird or too crazy, or too busy off with someone else. So I've been trying to correct those a bit too much, and I'm sorry about that. But your quarrel's not always with me. Sometimes it's with other people. And you, you need to understand, and you tend to have a picture of a perfect world, and if someone's not in that perfect world, you don't like them. There's no such thing as a perfect world. You know, stop trying to think everything's like that. 
And yes, you believe, I know you believe in God, and I don't think you know a lot. I am older than you, and when I say science proves it, science proves it, okay? Science is more believable than God, and this is coming from someone who is a Christian. Yes, I guess in the last few years I've maybe not believed in God as, as I used to, but you're talking about someone who's lowest mark in an RE test before GCSE since I didn't take it for GCSE, which I have no idea why. My lowest mark in an RE test was 93%. 93. And that was on a bad day. So I think what I get on a good day. So don't try and argue that God's real or, you know, science is wrong because God proves this. God doesn't prove anything. God's a theory. God is a theory. But, and people who say science, hey, God's not real. Both of you just shit, like, not, not Esther, but people who think God's real and science is all phony and all this, or people who think the other way round, just shut up. It, they're not against each other. Science proves things that are possible. God proves things that are impossible, that we consider impossible. And people look at the flaws, like, like say, science proves that God isn't, re re um, isn't real in this way, or... See, this is proof God is real, which makes this science unreal. No, but it, it, stop looking for the weakness and look at the links. There are some links between them. And I'm fed up with people who think one way or the other. And I also don't like, you know, I'm not bragging or anything, but people at youth club, I'm a lot smarter than most of you. I mean, no offence, some of you get home educated, and I'm not saying that's different to school or it's better than or it's better or worse than school because well it depends how you like learning and personally I would have liked to learn that you know having once a week able to run around with friends close like outside most of the time instead of cramped up in a school where I get bullied a lot but it's made me who I am so I'm not gonna say it's that so you know I'm not I'm not saying it well, but the people who go there I th personally, I would prefer, if I was trying to, I'd say public school, la uh, I'd say homeschooling last, then public school, then home education, which these um, home educations, I know I've been there a few times, uh, invited by two of my ex-girlfriends, and it was really nice, and I think it's a better way of learning, and it's different to homeschool, thing. <clears throat> and then private school, private school trumps them all, with education-wise. Because the reason why I think public uh, home sc homeschooled is just like school, but at home, and you know if you you can't really escape it in any way because it's at home. So then there's public school. The reason why I think home education beats it is because well home education. It's not school at home. It's education at home, and you're in a more comfortable environment. You get to meet up with friends and run around and learn different things that people in school don't learn. So. You know, that's why I, th I think when you enjoy it more, you're more likely to learn. But, on the other hand, but then private school trumps it all, in my opinion. This is just my opinion, and it's not biased in any way. I generally do prefer, you know, um, I would have preferred to be home educated. But since I'm fostered, I'm legally not allowed until the age of 14 or 15. But by then it was too late, because I was already doing GCCs, so, which I'm currently 16. So... So why do you, but anyway, as I'm trying to make, as, as my point was, I'm a lot smarter than most of you guys, I'm not bragging, you know, I'm not the smartest, there are some, and that does not mean I know everything, that does not mean, and that, that doesn't mean that I know, you know, more than you in everything, because there are some things you guys are probably smarter at, but overall, don't argue about things I'm smarter at, please, it just really annoys me, or when you think you're right, and you're wrong, it really, really bugs me, and then there's people like Artem, who thinks they own the place, Artin, right, I'm fed up of you, you just keep bossing people, you, people don't realise it because you, you smile, you laugh, you know when it does, but you bully people into getting what you want, you push people, you hit people, especially me, and I'm getting fed up of it, and if you keep doing it, I'm not going to hold back, and I'm going to, and I could be you, so I'm not, you know, so really, just stop it, you know, you, you're not going to be, there's no point, like, being cool because you're strong or getting everything you want because you're strong. Instead, get it because you're a nice person and you deserve it. Not bully people. And this is another point. I really hate bullies, okay? I've been bullied, that's why I took up karate. 
And now, because of my karate, I wouldn't fight them. Because I know I'd hurt them. But if it came to it, I would hit them. Use self-defense. And counters to, a, to show them that I'm not worth it. And there are a few times I've kicked people in school. And like, when I first started karate, really not recently. Um, where I've kicked people and they've stopped bullying me. I mean, they must probably forget why they have. <coughs> Griff at school, you, I kicked you in the back in R14 when you were bullying me and then since then you've actually stopped and you know, you're like really nice. But a lot of people just don't bully. You're not gonna get anything with bullying. You're gonna be a bully. You're gonna become a criminal. You're gonna get arrested. Or you're gonna be a bully. You're gonna start on someone who's a lot bigger and stronger than you. Or is a better fighter and you're gonna get your ass whooped and you're gonna don't know what to do with it then. So just don't do it. Concentrate in school, don't bully people, encourage people, and be nice to people. There's no point bullying. Like, I mean, two. Well, not two. Next point um, is, oh, I hate, this also goes in, I hate people who are homophobic, and people who say, being gay isn't natural, flying's not natural, we can fly. You know, so don't say that. Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Yeah, well, you guys are much more the people who don't believe in Jesus, so you can't really quote Adam and Eve in anything. And anyone who says, oh, yes, Jesus doesn't plan. God doesn't like gays, you know, it's not. He's made a woman and a, he's made a man and a woman, not a man and a man, or a woman and a woman. Shut up. You know nothing, do you guys? What's God about? God's not. No, nah, he's gay, let's get him, beat him up. No, you stupid wank. What does he say in his own video? What does he say in the commandments? He's about love, peace. If you want, if you want a God who hates, home, who hates gay people, go find another religion. You know, there are plenty of religions, like, for example, one that's not around today, but ancient Greek. The Aries, the, some of their gods were violent. Romans, even more with the Romans. God is a peaceful, loving God. And he loves everyone, no matter what they are. No matter what colour, no matter what sexuality, no matter what hair colour, eye colour, race, religion. He doesn't matter. He loves you. So if you think gay, if you think God wouldn't want gay people, why do you think there are gay people? He has a plan. And if gay people exist, it's because he wants them to. So... Gay people should get married and don't bully gay people because it's not their fault. It's like someone bullying you because of your hair colour, which also is inappropriate. Or your skin colour, you can't help it, nothing wrong with it. It just makes them who they are. And if I see anyone doing it, I will go up to them and I will tell them. And if they keep telling them, it will tempt me to punch them. And in case you guys don't realise, I'm going to admit something I haven't admitted before. I'm by. Yes, I prefer girls a lot more, but there are a few boys I've secretly liked over the years. Well, two. I've kind of liked that. That don't know. I like them. I think they found out, but I'm not 100% sure. But I'm not going to name them. So if you think you know, if you're watching this and you think it, you think it's you, put it below. And no, it's no one at Youth Club, guys. And... Yeah. So why do it? It's it's not it's not a big deal. And then some people say they're not homophobic. I I people have said they're not homophobic yet they were bullying me about it and they're like, you you're homophobic. And then race. If anyone says, oh why do I care so much about race? Some of my brothers are black. So, um my dad's black and Spanish. So I really don't like it. So and if I see anyone do it, I will really get annoyed and tell them off. And if they keep doing it, I'll tell them off. I'll tell them off three times. If they don't listen in those three times, then they'll really push me and I will most probably punch them. And I don't want to, but I will, because I really, really hate it. It gets on my nerves, okay? So if you, if you do any of these, and tell me why you think you should do it, right? One, I don't like people who... Another one, I don't like people who think they're cool, so bully other people for it. You're not cool if you bully. There's no such thing as normal or cool. No one's the same, so there's no normal. Normal is like... Well, it's not. You can't have normal if everyone's different. So, don't have normal, don't have cool, and don't have uncool. You could have popular, 
Not cool. Cool and popular are different. And I also don't like the the um, fashion with really skin tight jeans. I can't do it because my muscles don't fit, and I really don't. It does. It looks really uncomfortable. It looks like it's gonna stop. You know, um, them producing babies for the boys. And I don't like those boys. I've never seen a girl do it, but if you have, crack me blow. But why do boys? Some boys put their trousers below their pants or on the bum so when they bend over like so it's baggy why I don't get it so just don't. it makes no sense and I'm most probably this is gonna be my longest video um most probably my longest vid this is my longest video so far I'm most probably gonna do another part um because I've most probably forgotten things but please like comment subscribe and in your comments it leave down below a comment of questions you want in a Q the upcoming Q&A if you want me to do an, another version of 10 facts about me and also things you hate and if you if you do any of the things mentioned below stop now seriously anyway peace out see you in another life